Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Nort, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I have some really exciting information to bring to you guys today in regards to the next game in the Grand Theft Auto franchise, otherwise known as GTA 6. Now recently, a very reliable and reputable source in the GTA community, otherwise known as Yan2295, posted a very interesting comment on GTA forums in regards to the development of GTA 6. So, as many of you guys may or may not know already, Grand Theft Auto franchise, the whole franchise in itself, is a permanent franchise. Rockstar Games are not going to end it anytime soon. They confirmed this in a whole variety of investors' meetings, which has led us to speculate as to how far in the development GTA 6 is. And recently, this opinion from Yan2295 pretty much sums it up, and it gives us a whole nother perspective on the imminent release of this game. Game. So let's take a look at what he posted out just the other day on GTA forums. So initially, Yan decides to talk about how articles are radicalizing the views of GTA 6 and giving us some very broad interpretations about the development of this game. Furthermore, Yan decided to discuss about the location and the development of this game in which he said, I've been keeping an eye on Norse openings for a little while now, and there's a lot more of them since two months or so. He is talking about job openings. The game is probably in real development now, which we all know, judging by the past openings openings, I would say the major part of the map is now done, which is the first thing they usually do, and they are starting to work on other stuff while completing the map. So if you guys don't know already, Yan knows someone or appears to know someone who works up or is close to someone who works at Rockstar North or Rockstar Games. He gets a lot of information from this source, unfortunately we're unable to tell or name the source he has, but all of the information he has got has predicted quite a few DLCs in the past and DLCs in the future. However, about 14 minutes ago, he edited the article in which he says, to follow up what I said yesterday about the map being pretty much done, it seems they have started or are about to start creating missions, which is super damn exciting. And I decided to research exactly what he was talking about. He left a link as well. This link takes you over to a job opening up at Rockstar North for a mission slash technical scripter position at Rockstar North. We are looking for individuals whose set of skills combines technical excellence with a passion for making games. The role involves script-based programming and close collaboration with our other disciplines from animation, arts, and programming. It further on discusses how as part of the level design team, you'll be using their in-house scripting language to code game missions and create immersive gameplay scenarios featuring AI, physics, network play, and interactive storytelling. The responsibility also include script-based programming and liaising with artists, animators, and programmers as well, so you're gonna have to work in a team to create some awesome missions. Now, as far as I'm aware, Red Dead Redemption 2 is likely to be the next game released at E3, so that game appears to be done, and no way would Rockstar North be working on a game which is scheduled to be released, or at least announced, in just a few months' time, two months' time to be exact. For that very reason, just taking a look at some of the job openings, this can only conclude that they're working on missions for GTA 6, which means that Rockstar Games have already chosen the location, they've already chosen the map, they've already designed the basic structure for this map, and they're way more advanced into this project than we ever anticipated them to be, which is absolutely insane. You can also go and check out some other opportunities at Rockstar North or any other Rockstar Studio. Some really cool ones I picked up involve a gameplay physics programmer, as well as some other awesome things as well, mainly terrain artists and environmental terrain artists. Some really interesting stuff to definitely take a look at and not skip through. So taking a look at the information we have just gathered, it appears that Grand Theft Auto 6 is already in production, they've already got the map, they've already structured the map, they've already chosen the location, and they're ready to create the sub parts of this game, for example missions and many other things like that. So if you guys don't quite know how game development works, 
I'm no expert, I've done a bit of research into this, and the best way I can explain this to you guys is to think of a cake, and as you build your way up the cake, you get the cherry on top, which is of course the final part of the game. So starting off with the bottom layer, you can get stuff like the terrain, the structure of the map, the very, very basics, the models. As long as the map is scaled out and ready, we can start building on top of it. So then you can get other things in it, like what the grass will look like, what trees will be planted, what missions will be created and all of that what not you can't really do that stuff unless you have the game or the terrain or anything to work on so by the looks of things Rockstar Games have already created the basic map which means they've got the location and where they want to base this game which like I said is incredibly exciting now if you guys are wondering where the location may be where Rockstar Games are planning to locate GTA 6 unfortunately I do not know myself but what I can confirm firm is that it's going to be in the United States. The reason why I know this is because Rockstar Games had a few other trademarks which did speculate a few ideas, for example City Stories, uh, Tokyo, as well as many other trademarks as well. Sin City I believe was one of them and this sparked loads of ideas as to whether this could be the next GTA game. However, these trademarks were abandoned in 2008 and if Rockstar Games were developing GTA 6 in Tokyo or any other place around the map they would definitely have reopened this trademark and of course kept it for the release of the next GTA game. So unfortunately it's not going to be in Tokyo, it's not going to be anywhere outside the United States. I think to keep it simple and basic it's going to be in the United States which can leave us with a whole bunch of awesome locations. Some of the best and probably the most likely locations would be New York, also Los Angeles, Miami. Those would be the three top locations in my opinion on where we could see GTA 6. I think San Francisco would also be a really cool place to have GTA 6 based as well. But I would love to know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you think GTA 6 will be located elsewhere, let me know down in the comments. And also feel free to search through trademarks owned by Take-Two Interactive because the likelihood is they have already trademarked the official name for the GTA 6 game. Now we do have City Stories which could potentially be a name for GTA 6. It could be Grand Theft Auto city stories. Unfortunately, we do not know as of yet whether this could be the next name for the game, but feel free to search through all of the trademarks by Take-Two and let me know in the comments if you see any which might spark up a few ideas as to where this game is due to be located. Also, taking a look at the job openings, Yan did discuss how more and more are opening every single day, so I will update you guys if anything interesting does pop up. I was fairly intrigued by a terrain environmental artist, so by the looks of things, Rockstar have not only created the map, but the terrain still needs a bit of tweaking, a bit of working on, and of course they want to develop a good environment for this. And just overall, taking a look at these jobs, they suit another Grand Theft Auto game. They're building an entire another world, which is, once again, a huge project, and I can't wait to see exactly what is happening behind closed doors when Rockstar finally announce this game. But what does this mean? Well, the game is in production. Rockstar have definitely created a map now. They've also created their scenario. They've created their location. They've got the basics in and from now on it's just building up, building up and building up, which means we could be expecting a release for the next Grand Theft Auto game over the next few years. I'm going to put an estimate of about three to four years on this because what we do know is that the voice actors for Grand Theft Auto 5 mentioned that they worked with Rockstar Games for three years prior to the release, which does pretty much confirm to us that Rockstar Games are gonna need more than three years to at least build the voice acting and the actors and the characters for this game. So I think 2020 is a good estimate to go for this and if we are using that estimate then that lines up with all of the PlayStation 5 and Xbox 2 rumors so it would definitely make sense to have this game released around 2020 or at least hear something about it. So let me know your thoughts in the comments section below guys. It's super exciting what is going down. As always if you did enjoy this video be sure to smack that like button and don't forget to click that subscribe button as 
as well if you are new here, so you won't miss out on any more Grand Theft Auto 5 content every single day. There's going to be loads more information about GTA 6 coming soon, so make sure you do subscribe for that as you guys will be the first to be updated once I find out some more information to do with the production of this game. But like I said, make sure you keep your eye on the job openings and tweet me anything which looks suspicious or interesting, and I would love to say a huge thank you to Yan2295 for coming up with this awesome theory and pretty much proving it to us with these job openings. And like I said, he has a source who is extremely close, if not working with Rockstar Games, who feeds him information, so I will be watching this as closely as possible. Anyway guys, I hope you did enjoy, let me know your thoughts in the comments. My name is Nort, and I will catch you guys in the next video.